All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, my name is Sarah, I'm the marketing manager, if you guys don't already know. I uh, help with some of the webinars and I'm joined with my colleague on the other side of this uh, laptop and she is going to help kind of uh, watch out for any participants that are coming in or share any questions that you guys have. So if you guys have any questions during the webinar, feel free to shoot it on the chat or feel free to unmute yourselves and I can also address you guys there. Um, so like I said earlier, as you guys were coming in today, we'll be talking about how you can order multiple pieces within one order um, just to be clear on that because I heard that that's something that you guys are looking for and also how to use the editing tools just to kind of look at the different features and make sure you guys know what buttons to click and whatnot. Um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my full screen here to make multiple orders. Let's go ahead and create a new order once you're logged into the Luma Prince ordering page. I'll do the whimsical animals that we've been doing for the webinar. Okay, let's go ahead and drag an image that we have here. And we'll start with this one. Okay, we'll just go with a 1.5 inch stretch canvas. We'll do a 30 by 40. I'll just go through the process of just ordering a whole product. Everything looks good for now. I'm going to go ahead and add to cart. Okay, so now you have an item in your cart and you're wondering, well, how do I add more items? Well, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, one of the ways to do it is a standard way, which is just add order items. So just simply click add order items here and that's how you can add another product. So say you have your customer ordered another print, go ahead and drag that 1.5 as well. And we'll go ahead and click that size. That's what I want. Everything else I'll just keep as is. Looks good. Add to cart. So that's one way of adding multiple products. You can go ahead and continue clicking that button, go through the whole process and add all the products that you need under one order. You can increase the quantity as you'd like here. I'll stick it with one for now. Um, another way to add order items, if say you don't want to go through like the process of going to the checkout page and then clicking add order items again, another way is to go ahead and click add order items first time around and duplicate this so as much as you need to, I guess. So if you say you have maybe five pieces that you'd like to order, Let's go ahead and do that. And say these are like different images, right? You can just go through the process. And now let's say this one image is like actually a square. Hey, okay. add to cart. Close that, do the same thing. Let's go ahead. Everything is fine, add to cart and so forth. So that's just another way you can add multiple items to a cart as you can see here. Okay, I'm probably not, I'm not going to go through the five different ones, but that's just one way to do it. Otherwise, it's pretty standard. You just got to click the add the order items button and you can add any other product you want to create a multi-order into under one order or multi-product order, if you will. Okay, so while we're here in the checkout page, I figured one thing I'd like to show you guys is just how to, you know, delete or edit a product. So let's say these last two, I actually don't need these products. Of course, you can go ahead and click the red trash can, confirm. Okay, and same thing with this one. I didn't actually need that. But that's just a way to delete an item if, say, you didn't really need to put that in that order anymore. Now, in the next step, I will talk about how to edit an order. So say you're looking at this and you're like, oh, no, actually, this needs to be more of a horizontal image versus a portrait image. How can I go back and edit this one, one product? Simple, just click the three dots that are right next to the trash can. Click edit item. 
Okay, pick the product once again. I say I want a 1.5 stretch canvas. Oops, all right, so here we are. And now let's go through the editing tools. So let me see if I can. Mm. There we go. I just wanted to hide some of my controls on the bottom so I can share my full screen here. Okay, so this is the original image. It is indeed captured or designed as a portrait, but say you wanted to sell it as a horizontal or your customer is like, oh, can you make this a horizontal image? Um, after clicking edit, these are some of the tools that you can use on this space here. Um, so I just want to go over that with you. You guys can zoom into your image using these magnifying glasses here. You can either zoom in using the plus inside the magnifying glass, or you can zoom out using this um, magnifying glass with the minus sign inside. If you'd like to move the image around your space, you have to click this arrow so it moves all four ways. Once that's enabled, you can move your images however you please to kind of look up, down, up close, whichever way you want. If you didn't have that, you'd have to click out of it and that will actually move the image itself within the actual canvas space. So if you're just here to examine the images up close, you'll have to click that in order to like move however way you want in your editing space. You can also click this one-to-one, -one, which just gets it really up close to your image, or you can click this diagonal size that takes it back to where you can see the whole image itself. So those are the tools here on the bottom. It's just more of a way to look at the image up close, if you will. Okay, so let's talk about the items on the top. Once you're not clicking on the image, you'll have two options to set your image. You can either set it as a landscape or a portrait mode. Right now it's on portrait mode. And like I said, I wanna edit this product to be in a horizontal type of image. So I'm gonna click the horizontal and then it automatically crops the image. Once you click on the image, these items are gonna pop up. It's basically saying the first three is about centering the image really uh, within that space that you've created based on the size you selected. With um, centering X, you know, that just means left and right, but because the image is kind of flushed already left and right, there's no need to like center it anymore. But then there's also center Y, which now it takes your whole portrait images and centers it to the middle of the space that you selected. This allows you to do both, but like I said, because the sides are kind of already flushed already on the side, you really don't need to do all four really. It's just a Y axis that you're really centering. But maybe for my image, I kind of want to see more of the cat itself. So I'm going to drag it down. These other tools also allows you to fit your image to size. So if this is your horizontal, if you fit to the workspace of your canvas size that you selected, as you can see, it just squeezes your image down, which is probably not the best look, to be honest. <laughs> so clicking fit to width just allows you to fit the whole image to fit the sides, if you will. Because this is a portrait image, fit to height won't be available because then that would just end up cutting the image and the white sides, right? Um, you can also rotate your image, if you will. You can do that if that's how you prefer. So those are just the options on that editing tool. Okay. So I guess for this one, you know, after looking at it, I'm moving it. I don't really want it centered because it's cutting up too much of the cat's um, face or the features. So I'm going to move it a little bit like this and I can leave it there. It's a horizontal image. Now, if you guys don't already know, we do have also other options when it comes to the products. So right now it's the image wrap. And if it's an image wrap, that means the image that you have will go into the bleeds, which are the ones that you see that are faded on the sides. But if you'd like to keep everything from your image within the front side of the canvas, you can select mirror wrap and it just mirrors the image uh, qualities that's on the front onto the bleeds. So as you can see, the editor updates itself to show you where exactly like the bleeds would start and begin. Or if you so prefer, you can also select solid color. And you can see 
the border colors around where the bleeds are. You can also select a different color if you so please. If you have a preference, you can choose that as well. You can select the number if you happen to know the number of the color and so forth. Well, let's say I like that. I like the solid color. I like it the horizontal. Originally, it was a portrait image, but um, I want the solid color wrap in a horizontal border or sorry, horizontal uh, space. So that looks good. And I can now update the product. So now that product is now updated. You can do the same for the other product. Like I said, simply go to the three dots right next to the red trash can or delete icon and select edit item. And of course you can go through that whole process again that I just shared. Again, so this one was like, for example, this one was a horizontal image and instead I would like it as a portrait. So I'm gonna go ahead and click portrait instead. And you can move however you want, if you prefer. Trying to make it a little bit closer, but you can see that it kind of squeezes the image. So you can do however you like to your image itself using the tools in this editing section. Maybe I kind of want a portrait like that. Okay, great, looks great. So yeah, that's how you guys can add multiple products under one order. Um, I showed you also how to delete an order with the red uh, delete trash can icon here. And I also showed you guys how to edit an order in case you decided, oh, never mind, that's not what I want. I kind of want to edit it. You can edit the size. You don't have to edit just the image, but any other features that you think you may have missed while you're putting the order in, you're welcome to do so. I also went over how you the editing tools on the ordering page as well. Um, and yeah, that's that. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of how to add multiple orders and how to use the editing tools um, within LumaPrint's ordering page. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot it on the chat with uh, Lindsay here. She'll shoot it out my way. But if you guys want to unmute, unmute yourselves and ask any questions, that's fine as well. I'll take a look at the chat right now. Um, okay, so first question was from... I have here from Lindsay. So this one was provided from the RSVP page. Um, they ask, Marian asked, they recently connected to their Etsy shop on LumaPrints. Can you explain the best process for managing personalized or customized Etsy orders with a connected shop? So yeah, sure thing, Marian. Thank you for that question. Let me go ahead and show you um, how that works. So if you have a connected Etsy shop, um, I just want to let you guys know, you don't have to do the automated process, especially if you have like custom designs, say it's like, you know, a Mother's Day design and you have, they have their own mom's image on there and a separate, like, I guess, saying that they like on the design itself and you design it for them. Um, one way to prevent, you know, just orders pushing through is go to your store section and go to your store settings. In this case, let me say Etsy, just because we have Etsy. And then just make sure that this is toggled as manual. Don't select automatic, select manual instead. If it was automatic and you've had done similar products in the past, it is likely that that product will be produced again with that same image in your last order. But that's not what you would like. You have custom orders, custom designs. And so even if your store is submitted, you can select, I suggest you select manual in your store settings. And then it's pretty simple. Your orders will still be fed through onto the LumaPrints ordering page. So such as like these examples with Shopify here that Lindsay did a couple uh, webinars ago. And all you can do is simply click on the order ID to fulfill it. Um, in this case, we did this before, but let's say this was empty and there was a product. You can simply see the order that they place and then you can map a product to it or add the order and go through the whole ordering process. And then follow up with the checkout. So I would suggest not mapping products. I would suggest not selecting automation so that when your orders do come in, you can still go, you can still pull them up because they'll be fed through our process. Pull them up and then just create a normal order as you would. In this case, this also should be toggled off. Okay.
So that answers that question. And then I see a question from Carolyn and Terry asking, how close are you all to making multiple products to a store? Um, so yeah, great question, Carolyn and Terry. Um, I believe it's still on the devs uh, timeline, the, our development team's timeline to create multiple products. I'm not sure if any of them are in with us today, but I can definitely reach out to them and ask them when are they planning to ma make it so that we can add multiple products. Is this by, I guess, one order includes multiple images, like kind of like a triptych or a diptych kind of design, if that's, uh, I just want to make sure, like Lindsay said, if that's, if that's exactly what you're looking for. Hi, this is Lindsay in post edit, wanting to let you know that we have since talked to our team and they let us know that there are plans for diptych and triptych art that's going to be ready for the site by the end of 2023, if not early 2024. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, yes, yes. So like a triptych design. Yep. So um, like I said, I don't know if our dev team is on here right now. Let me double check with Lindsay. Is anyone from the dev here? As far as I know, it's still on their timeline to complete. So um, Carolyn, Terry, if you don't mind, if you'd like, you can also send us a direct message, um, your email, and we can make sure to get that time, like a date for you or around a certain uh, timeline for you. So we can send that information as well. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen real quickly and pop back in. Um, yeah, so while we wait, if there's any other clarifying questions that you guys have, any status updates that you guys need, um, we can see if we could help with that information with whoever is here. Um, otherwise, that's uh, it for the webinar. If you have any other questions or any suggestions for future webinars, feel free to share as well. Um, and that's basically it for today. So feel free to unmute yourselves if you guys have any comments or questions. Otherwise, we'll still be here for a few more minutes. Uh, make sure we answer all the questions that you guys have and get back to you guys when with the next webinar next week. So take care, everyone. See you next week.